All right, today we're going to do four creative looks in Lightroom using the Preset Pro Lightroom Presets and Profiles. I've got this raw file here. I actually combined them all into an HDR image in Lightroom. And let's take a look at the side here. And we got a lot of information. And there's the settings there. ISO 64, 16 mil, F11. So this was taken outside of Yellowstone. And this was the last bit of light peeking through right here. So let's kind of bring out some detail and see what we can do with this image and come up with some creative looks. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the Creative HD collection. I'm gonna auto tone this and sort of balanced everything out. Uh, it is an HDR image, so we've kind of got this flat image. Let's bring out some details here and I'm gonna go down and see what we can come up with. I like the colors in this 14 HDR almost dusk, but it's a little too bright, kind of auto exposed here. And I'm gonna bring that down quite a bit. And let's go right about here. And I'm gonna punch up the contrast right about there. And because I punched up the contrast, I'm gonna take down the vibrance a little bit. When you increase the contrast, it actually kind of saturates the color a little bit. So I'm gonna just bring that down right about there. So it looks a little more balanced. I'm gonna go to the radial filter. The preset already has one built in. Done. And because this is a raw file, I'm gonna use the lens correction. I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna increase the vignette around this a little bit more. All right, let's take a look at before and after. There we go. A little bit closer, a lot more detail and nice colors. And with all these images that I go through, I'm gonna post them online and show you the presets that I used. All right, so now I'm gonna reset this image and we're gonna come up with another creative look. Okay, here we have creative look number two and I'm gonna to go to the landscape collection. We can open that up. Auto tone and I'm gonna auto white balance this. Okay, let's go down and find something that looks good. And this one looks pretty good, the 48 Amalfi Coast. And looks great. Okay, I'm going to open this up and do a few things. I'm going to bring down the highlights a little more, just because we have a pretty dynamic image. Grab one of our filters. Give that a click, move it like this. And I'm going to bring down the highlights and drop the exposure a little bit too. And that looks fantastic. We can take a look at before and after. So there's before and after. Get a little closer. And that looks really nice, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna save this one to the site and post the preset that I used. And now we can reset it and move on to the next creative look. Okay, we have our raw file reset and I'm gonna go for something a little bit more film-like in this and I'm gonna to go to the film roll and we can auto tone. And I'm gonna try something with a bit of grain. So let's go to dash of grain and I'm liking this one, the punch one. That looks really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here again because we've got so much information in this photo we can bring down a lot of that detail and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. I'm just gonna drop a filter in and bring down the highlights and a bit of the exposure. Ah, just right about there looks good. And we can check out before and after. It's a nice film look on this. Go a little closer, but that looks great. Okay, so we can move on to our final image and I'm thinking I might just do something from the film collection. I'm gonna try a black and white just to get a bit of variety here. Auto tone this, and we have a lot of the black and white presets right at the bottom. 92 monochrome, very nice. Okay, we got some nice grain in it. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just get rid of those highlights. Just boost that up. And I'll show you a cool trick here. You can actually grab one of these filters. Actually, I've got it right here. Actually, that's the one I just had. So. If you bring down the exposure and contrast and you can see how it overlaps in the shadows, if you go into range mask, luminance, you can actually remove this exposure and highlight reduction in the shadows. 
So you can do that by moving the range of the mask. You can see that it's only affecting the highlighted areas. You can bring it all the way up and you can find that sweet spot. If you hold down Alt or Option, you can actually see the mask right there. So you can see where it's covering. If you go right about there, it looks nice. So it's just sort of fading nicely into the shadows. I'm gonna let go and there we go. So that looks great. It's not affecting the shadows as much and it's more of a soft gradient right there. So that looks great and I'm happy with that. We can check out before and after and there we go. Again, I'm going to post these all online so you can see which presets I used. Thanks for watching.